Hello everyone. Welcome to this short video on John Osborne. You all know that John Osborne revolutionized English theater and started what is called the Angry Young Man movement. The Angry Young Man playwrights and novelists belonged to the middle class or lower middle class and they showed their resentment against the concept of the welfare state that came after the Second World War. The generation that came after the Second World War was a deprived generation. They showed their anger at the establishment and this is what gave the movement the name Angry Young Man Movement. As you would already know, the other angry young men were Kingsley Amis, John Wayne, John Brain, Alan Silito, etc. The most important play of the Angry Young Man movement is Look Back in Anger by John Osborne. This play was performed on 8th May at Royal Court Theatre in 1956. Like all the Angry Young Man works, Look Back in Anger also projects social inequality and futility of individual action. Jimmy Porter, the protagonist, is a young man and he is showing his resentment at the English class system. There is a sequel to Look Back in Anger, Deja Vu, where Jimmy Porter appears as a middle-aged man, but that play was not a success. Before I talk more about Look Back in Anger, let me just tell you one thing. There were two other very important plays by John Osborne, Entertainer, which also shows a failed man, Archie Rice. His failed family life and his failure in music hall performance, both are juxtaposed in scenes that are named number one, number two, number three, etc. This reflected the time when Britain lost its power as a world nation and it fell from being number one. This was also the time of the Suez Canal crisis. The Suez Canal was uh, dominated by England and France, controlled by England and France, but Egypt defeated them at this time. That was in 1956. There is another very revolutionary play that he has written set in Germany that is called Luther, the life of Martin Luther, the Reformation leader. Look Back in Anger is an autobiographical play based on Osborne's own unhappy marriage and anger at the British establishment. The play is set in three consecutive Sundays uh, in an April in the 1950s in a small town in England. The setting is a claustrophobic flat where Jimmy Potter, his upper class wife Alison and his friend Cliff Lewis live. And uh, Jimmy and Cliff are reading the newspaper every Sunday. They are letting out their anger at the government and the, at the authorities, at the powerful people every day. You can see that in the play, Alison is being attacked by Jimmy verbally because she is upper class. And uh, Alison is constantly ironing on stage with an ironing board. This was in reaction to the drawing room comedies of Noel Coward, Terence Rattigan, etc. In the second scene of the play, you see Alison's friend Helena appearing and she is like taking the place of Alison. The squalor and misery of their life is reflected in the strained relationships and the disintegrating family ties of the Potters. Alison is pregnant but she has a miscarriage. In the third scene, which is the last, we see that Jimmy and Alison are like equal now in suffering. They do love each other, as you see from the bear and the squirrel game that they play symbolically, but they are unable to show their love and intimacy because of the socio-political and economic problems that they live in. So this is the most important play, um, Look Back in Anger. I hope you'll read Look Back in Anger, The Entertainer and Luther. Thank you very much.